User-defined functions, or UDFs, are custom functions in Excel that allow the end user to utilize them within their formulas inside of their Excel workbooks. With Add-in Express, you have two ways of creating UDFs. The first is through an Excel automation add-in, and the second is via what's known as an XLL add-in. Now, Excel add-ins are COM-based add-ins, and they work with Excel 2002 through 2010. And XLLs are DLLs that Excel can open directly, and they're supported with Excel 2000 through 2010. Now, a big note here is that these version numbers are what Add-in Express supports when building these two types of solutions with Add-in Express. Whichever direction you choose, you can still do things like creating custom functions that are not included with Excel, and you can do things like implement new versions of built-in functions and extend them to maybe have your own little wrinkle or tweak to it that you need for your business rules. You can also do things like connect data from your legacy systems or your line of business systems and somehow include them and integrate them into Excel via just a custom function. And you can also do things like include them in your application-specific data flows or, or workflows. In this video, I want to cover the Excel automation add-ins and explain why you would choose this architecture type over that of the XLL add-in. You create an automation add-in versus an Excel add-in when you want to use a COM or component object model architecture. And also, too, this limits you to supporting Excel 2002 through 2010, at least that's the versions that when you use the ADX toolset for building an automation add-in, those are the versions of Excel that you can support. Now this architecture, the automation add-in architecture, allows you to have access to the Excel object model. That's one of the best scenarios for using this architecture type. In terms of functions and procedures, you can only use functions, so any, any method you create or write would need to return values, whereas with the XLL add-in, you can use both functions and procedures. Now, hiding your functions, you cannot hide a function in the automation add-in, so every, every, add or every function you write will be visible inside of Excel. In the insert dialog, the user will see all public functions exposed by the ADX Excel add-in module. Whereas in the XLL add-ins, you can hide a function or procedure. With automation add-ins, you don't have access to low-level Excel features. You would have to use the XLL architecture for that. In terms of cell modification, you don't have any capabilities to, to modify arbitrary cells with, within Excel, whereas you do have that capability with XLL add-ins. In terms of descriptions, the automation add-in takes the prog ID applied in the Excel add-in module and uses that as the description for the add-in. And then functions and, and their arguments are not allowed to have a description within your automation add-ins. If you're looking to have descriptions, you can use the XLL add-in instead. Now let's take a look at how this works with a short demo. And in this demo, what, what I'll do is open up Visual Studio and we'll just walk through the process of creating a very basic automation add-in, so I will fade to black, and when I come back, we'll be in Visual Studio, and I'll walk you through this short demo. Okay, so I'm back, and as promised, I am running Microsoft Visual Studio, and a key point here, if you notice up here in the top left-hand corner, is that I'm running Visual Studio as an administrator, which is very important when creating a user-defined function, whether you do it as an XLL product or as an Excel automation add-in project. Now this sample will show you how to create an Excel automation add-in that provides a custom user-defined function. And this function must return a value that can be used in a formula. And custom user-defined functions allow you to build formulas that your end users can then utilize in Excel just as, it, as they would any other kind of built-in or default function provided by Excel. So given that the function must return a value that can be used in a formula, they need to be either a string, a number, or an error value, and the numbers can be booleans or date, as they are basically numbers as well. So let's get started, and what we'll do is we'll say File, New Project, and in the New Project, we're going to the other project types under the Extensibility node, and we will select the ADX COM Add-in. And I know I said we're going to create an Excel automation add-in, so just bear with me. The first step is to create the ADX COM add-in project type, and I will call this Excel automation add-in and say OK. 
The Add in Express new project wizard opens up and I'm going to choose Visual Basic Project as my language and I'll go ahead and support Office 2000 and above. The supported application I will select Excel only and say next and for the strong name key file I'll go ahead and select the default which is generate new and click finish. Once the wizard is done and creates the project inside of Visual Studio what we have is a com based Excel add-in project with the add-in module should be familiar if you have any experience with add-in express and what we need to do is now add a new item to the project so what I'm going to do is right click on the project in the solution explorer hover over add and say new item and then in the add-in express items I'll go to Excel and I want to choose the com Excel add-in module and if we look at the description we'll see the type those are common items, but the description says implements an Excel automation add-in in Add-in add Express-based project. So we add this to the project, we now have the capability of an Excel automation add-in which is needed to create the user-defined function. So I will leave the name, just the default name of Excel add-in module 1 and I'll click add to add it to the project. Now what we need to do is with this Excel add-in module 1 is I will just right click and say view code and in here we'll add just a public function that is my multiplier and we'll do by value range as object and then say we'll return an object and then what we'll do is say my multiplier equals see type range is an Excel range we'll grab its value and then we're going to time we'll multiply that by 1000 and that's it so what I have is my multiplier function and we just grab its type, the range here of this object, and we convert it to a Excel range and grab its value and times it by a thousand. That's it. Uh, so now, well one other thing I want to show you, let's go back over to the add-in module and we'll look and we'll see that the add-in name is Excel Automation Add-in. Uh, this will show up in our in Excel anytime we want to you know, insert, go to the category and find the functions for this add-in, this is where we'll find it. So let's go ahead and do a build. Say register ADX project which will build the project as well as register it on my system so that I can demo it which I'll go ahead and do now. And I'll say I'll just open up Excel and let's go to formulas and I'll put in a value here of 10 and then insert function if we go down to the very bottom we'll see Excel automation add-in dot Excel add-in module 1 and so this is how we find it it's ba basically the combination of my add-in module plus the name of my com automation add-in that I added to the project which would be right here this Excel add-in module 1 so I will go ahead and select it and we'll see here too that we have a bunch of other functions and this is as I alluded to earlier in the introduction to this video that we can't hide any of the functions everything that's inside of the add-in is available to be seen inside of Excel including really my only custom function which is my multiplier. I'll say OK and for range I'll put right here and say OK great and it works just as well here I could say equals my multiplier right there D5 and there you go and that's all there is to it as I've shown you in this video to create a user defined function that is based off of an Excel automation add-in you first create an ADX com add-in project then you add the com Excel automation add-in project type in which you then go to the code view and add your function as I did here inside of the 
ADX add-in module 1 inside of its code, I added my public function that returns a value that an Excel formula understands, like a string, a number, or say an error value. In this case, I chose a number. And then you register it, and you can debug it as you normally would inside of Excel, and then you can use the publishing features that ADX provides to publish it and deploy to your users. It's very simple, very powerful feature inside of Excel to extend the capabilities and implement custom functions and formulas that your users need inside of Excel.